When working with computers, it is very important to understand the system for organizing, storing, and locating your files and applications. When we talk about files, we are referring to a Word document, photos, videos, audio clips, and more. Applications are the programs we use to create the files that are stored on your computer. Another term you will commonly hear is folders, also known as directories. Folders are where we store the files and applications. Everything we interact with on our computers is stored in a hierarchy of folders. You can think of the hard drive as a filing cabinet or one big folder where all of the other files and folders are organized. Let's take a look at an example of how the file and folder hierarchy system works. On my desktop, I have a folder that is named Bills. I'm going to double click on it to open it. Inside this folder, you can see that there are three files named Cable, Electric, and Water with the months that they are for after it. As time goes on, I will receive more and more bills. Now, I could just keep saving them in the bills folder, but over time, the folder would become very cluttered and the files would be hard to keep track of. This would be a great time to create subfolders to better organize the files. Let's create three of them for each type of bill. To create a new folder in Windows 7, just click on the New Folder button at the top. This creates a new folder called New Folder. Notice that the name is highlighted, and to change the name, all we have to do is type it in. Let's call this one Cable, and hit Enter when you're done typing to lock it in. I'm going to click on New Folder again, and create one for Electric. And one more time for Water. Now I've created three subfolders inside my bills folder. In order to move the files into their folders, just click and hold on the file that you want. Then drag it over the top of the folder that you would like to place it into. Notice that Windows displays a text box that says move to cable. Let's try it again for the electric file. Just click and hold, drag it over the top of the folder and release it. And one more time for the water file. I'm going to click on the cable folder so that you can see that the cable file is now sitting in the folder. If you understand this, you understand how the file and folder system works. Remember that you don't have to organize your files and folders. Your computer will always be able to keep track of them. But the question is, can you? It might be easy when there's only a few files and folders, but what about a few hundred or even a few thousand? Organizing your files and folders is a good habit to get into. Let's now take a look at how we can view the files and folders in Windows Explorer. Let's go over to the icon here. Notice that when I hover over it, it says change your view. Click on it a few times and see what happens. Notice that it will rotate through all the ways we can view the files and folders. Let's go over to the small arrow next to it. You can see that a list pops up that shows us all the different ways that we can view them. It also gives us a scroll bar, which shows us a preview of what each option will look like. You can change yours to whatever you prefer. I like to keep mine in the details view. This is because it gives me these headers here, which when clicked on, can organize the list. Notice that when I click on the name, it organizes the list alphabetically. And when I click on it again, it reverses the order. This is the same for date modified when I click on it. Take a look at the top here. You can see that Windows also shows you your location. If you want to go back, you can either click on the back arrow or click on the folder that you would like to go back to. This concludes a quick preview of the Windows 7 file and folder system.